Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. I have a good news for all the aspirants who are preparing for bank exams. And the good news is SBI clerk notification is out. So we have total 8773 vacancies in this notification. And I am going to share complete details about this notification. What is the education qualification required? Age limit, examination pattern, examination fee and number of vacancies state wise. Complete details I am going to share in this video. All the aspirants who are planning to prepare for bank examination and students who are already preparing for bank examination. Everyone watch this video. I am going to share complete details in this video. If you observe the notification. Starting date to apply is 17-11-2023. From 17-11-2023 onwards, you can start filling the application. And last date to apply online, last date to apply online is 7-12-2023. 7-12-2023 is the last date to apply for SBA clerk. So, all the aspirants who are serious and if you are planning to write SBA clerk examination, don't wait till the last moment. Try to apply it as early as possible. And coming to admit card for preliminary examination, admit card will release from 27-12-2023 onwards. From 27-12-2023 onwards, admit cards are going to release for a preliminary examination. Preliminary examination date is in the month of January 2024. What would be the exact dates? We'll come to know when the admit cards are released. But examination prelims is going to happen in the month of January 2024. And prelim exam result, preliminary examination result will be declared either in January or February 2024. So January or February 2024, preliminary examination result will be announced. Mains exam admit card, mains exam admit card will release from 15 to 2024 onwards. From 15 to 2024 onwards, mains exam admit card will be released. Exam date, mains exam date will be in the month of February 2024. In February 2024, mains examination also will be conducted. And the final result, final result that is mains exam result which is nothing but final result will be released in the month of March or April 2024. Which means by the end of March or April 2024 we will come to know final selected students for SBA clerk. So this is a good opportunity. All the students who are preparing from the past few years and students who are planning to prepare newly for all these students, this is a great opportunity. So we have total 8,773 vacancies. This is a good opportunity. So if you are serious and if you are planning to crack SBA clerk examination, this is the right time. You have to start your preparation if you are preparing newly for bank exam. And if you are already preparing for bank exam from the past few years onwards, you have to restart your revision and make sure that you will be in the race for this notification okay and coming to state wise vacancies and category wise vacancies you can find the list complete here each state how many vacancies are there and category wise division also you have complete details to make this simplified i have this one so state wise how many vacancies are there if you observe here gujarat you have total 820 vacancies uttar pradesh 1781 vacancies Rajasthan, 940 vacancies. Next, uh, Telangana, 525 vacancies. Assam, 430 vacancies. Uh, next, uh, Bihar, 415 vacancies. Karnataka, 450 vacancies. So, you can find each state how many vacancies are there. You can find all these. Total, we have 8,283 vacancies here. In addition to this, we have some backlog vacancies also. Backlog vacancies are 490 vacancies, total backlog vacancy. All together, we have 8,773 vacancies in this notification. Okay, So you can find each state how many vacancies are there and you can find category wise how many vacancies are also there in this. Okay, And coming to the education qualification, 
as on 31 12 2023 as on 31 12 2023 you have to complete your graduation or equivalent to graduation from a recognized university okay so you have to complete your graduation so you need to complete your graduation or equivalent to graduation from any recognized university as on 31 12 2023 so on or before 31 12 2023 you have to complete your graduation or equivalent to graduation from a recognized university and some of the students who are appearing for final year or final semester they have some doubts whether we can apply or not yes even you can also apply so final year students and final semester students also can apply but the condition is you need to submit a valid proof saying that you you are passed on or before 31 12 23 so you need to submit a valid proof saying that you passed the examination on or before 31 12 23 if you are able to submit a valid proof that you are passed examination before 31 12 2023 then obviously happily you can also apply for this okay so if you are not able to submit valid proof that you have passed examination on or before 31 12 2023 then you are not in a position to apply for this okay so finally it's also can apply but the condition is you have to submit a valid proof that you have passed the examination on or before 31 12 2023 okay and coming to eligibility criteria regarding age it is very clear that minimum age limit is 20 years and maximum age limit is 28 years look here as on 1 for 2023 as on 1 for 2023 minimum age should be 20 years maximum age should be 28 years candidates must have been born not earlier than 2 for 1995 and not later than 1 for 2003 both dates inclusive so minimum age limit is 20 years and maximum age limit is 28 years and if you are having age relaxation based on the category you will have more age criteria so look here age relaxation if you have age relaxation if you are belonging to SCST category you have age till 33 years it's not 28 years till 33 years you can write the examination if you belong into ST or ST category okay and if you are OBC category then you have a three years age relaxation which means till 31 years you can write this examination which means 28 plus 3 31 years you can write this examination and PWD general or EWS you have 10 years age relaxation which means 28 plus 10 total 38 years till 38 years you can write the examination so if you have age relaxation based on your age relaxation 28 uh, plus uh, this age relaxation will be included and based on that you can write the examination whether it is 33 or 31 or 38 or 43 based on the category you can check and you can write okay so minimum is 20 years maximum is 28 years and if you have age relaxation you will get additional uh, duration also okay and coming to the preliminary examination pattern as we all know we have english section quantitative aptitude section and reasoning section from english section 30 questions 30 marks and sectional timing you know in bank examination we'll have 20 minutes is a sectional timing and quantitative aptitude 35 questions 35 marks and sectional timing 20 minutes reasoning we have 35 questions 35 marks and sectional timing 20 minutes so total 100 questions 100 marks time 60 minutes time each section 20 minutes and don't forget we will have negative marking also and one more important thing i need to say here examination will be conducted in regional languages also if you want to write examination in telugu yes examination available in telugu if you want to write examination in urdu exam is available in urdu if you want to write examination in canada examination is available in canada language also so regional languages are also there for this examination this is also one good news for the aspirants who want to write examination in their regional language okay so coming to the examination pattern preliminary examination pattern this is a preliminary examination pattern you'll have native marking one by fourth also in this okay so students are going to clear preliminary examination for them mains examination they are going to write in mains examination if you observe english will be there common quantitative aptitude will be common and reasoning ability also will be common in addition to this we will have computers and general awareness these two will be additional for your mains examination but uh, english quantitative aptitude and reasoning will be same for your prelims and mains examination just the difference will be level of questioning will be slightly different but the syllabus will be same there will not be any change in the syllabus so here if you observe general english 40 questions total marks 40 sectional timing 35 minutes quantitative aptitude 50 questions 50 marks sectional timing 45 minutes 
reasoning ability and computer aptitude 50 questions 60 marks time is 45 minutes sectional time and general awareness 50 questions 50 minutes sorry 50 questions 50 marks and time is 35 minutes so total 190 questions 200 marks and time is 2 hours 40 minutes so total in 2 hours 40 minutes you have to complete 190 questions in your mains examination and don't forget in mains examination also you will be having negative marking okay so this is the mains examination pattern so students who are going to clear preliminary examination those are eligible for mains examination okay and uh, coming to the application fee if you belong to sc or st or pwd or ex servicemen here fees is nil you do not pay any fee per, for that but rest all the candidates should pay 750 rupees as application fee okay so these are the complete details about the notification so if you are serious to crack sba clerk examination so this is a good opportunity i want you to start the preparation from now onwards if you are a new aspirant who are planning to crack job in banking already if you are preparing for bank exam from the past few years onwards then you have to restart your preparation start revision so this is a great opportunity you have 8773 vacancies in this notification and we are going to launch new course for sba clerk notification and in this new course we are going to cover complete syllabus quantitative aptitude english reasoning computers banking awareness next uh, current affairs static gk everything everything we are going to cover in detail and we are going to provide you pdf material topic wise mock exams full length mock exams also will be included in this batch and all the classes will be based on your examination pattern as you all know that examination is all about time restriction so for every section there is a time limit so you need to solve the questions within the time if you need to solve the questions within the time then your approach your hard work your strategy your your uh, the way of solving the question should be unique and we will make sure that we are going to teach you unique methods which will help you to save lot of time in examination and we are going to teach each and every subject with best and unique techniques with best faculties you can see the demo videos demo videos are available for free you do not pay any money for the demo videos if you like the demo videos and if you think that our classes will be helpful for you to crack your sba clerk examination then definitely you can join this course and this course you will be having classes separately in english medium and separately in telugu medium and course fees for this batch is 2700 rupees yes 2700 rupees is the course fee you can join in this batch complete course we are going to provide you complete classes according to the syllabus and we are going to provide you PDF material for each and every subject. Topic is mock exams, full length mock exams also will be included. Best faculties, best techniques, best strategies, best examination oriented approaches will be shared in the classes. You can watch the demo videos and then you can decide. Complete course for this is 2700 rupees. And if you are planning to join combo pack, we have a combo pack for students who are planning to prepare simultaneously for bank exam, SSC exam, railway examinations. You know that in railway very soon we are going to get 250,000 plus vacancies upcoming jobs and we are going to have regular notifications in SSE and in bank exam also if you are planning for bank SSE railway combo pack we have combo pack for that in this combo pack we are going to cover complete syllabus and this syllabus will be useful for all examinations bank exams SSE exams railway exams in this we will be covering arithmetic reasoning advanced max english history geography polity economy physics biology chemistry computer static gk current efforts everything will be covered and we are going to provide you pdf metal for each and every subject also and all together this batch will be almost 850 hours of classes with best faculties we are going to teach and best approaches which will be helpful for your examinations okay and this batch will be available separately classes will be available separately in english medium and separately in telugu medium also and this batch will be useful for your both prelims and mains examinations also and course fees for this batch is 4500 rupees okay so if you are serious to apply sba clerk examination definitely don't wait till the last moment try to apply it as early as possible and if you think that this information is uh, helpful to you click on the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members who are planning to uh, prepare for bank examinations thank you all the best